we've been testing soil since uh, 1974 and then actually on my own laboratory since 1982. And the key to all of it begins with taking a good soil sample. So if you had a field that was 60 hectares and you just wanted one sample out of it, you're still better off picking seven and a half acres, hectares and taking 12 to 15 probings. So sampling that thoroughly. Now here's why. That way you've got a good picture of what that limited area is. You should be able to find it again if you sketch it out on a map and you'll be able to see whether the amendments you added really changed things. And it won't be a matter of, well, I might have been off uh, where I took the sample last time. Over the years, lots of crazy things have happened, but I've had farmers come in and go, I don't understand what happened to my organic matter, uh, this and that, and we're talking about it. And I said, so tell me about how you took the sample. Did you go deeper? No, I always take it just you know six inches deep. Okay, because the only thing different this year is there's, the field is cut in half by a creek and last year I took it on the other side and this year I took it on this side. And I'm like, we've been talking for 15 minutes about what might have happened to organic matter and there's, you did not take it in the same area at all. So it really confounds things if you aren't sampling the same area. Um, if, if, for instance, you say, well, I think it's all the same, it's 60 hectares, it isn't all the same, but let's say it was. If it's all the same and you sampled seven and a half hectares very well, it's all the same. It's the same, it's the same. If it was different, at least you'll be treating the seven and a half hectares the correct way. And you'll be able to see how things are moving along and responding to whatever you've applied. Uh, requirements for an effective soil test. Consistent protocols for sampling, of course, analytical procedures which are sensitive, rapid, cost-effective, and validated interpretation criteria for each test derived from documented calibration experiments. 